What's going on, Troll Maniacs? I'm back. I took a little bit of a break, but here we are, back to making some YouTube videos. I just needed a little bit of time off to kind of rejuvenate, relax, and get back into it. So yeah, guilty as charged. And speaking of guilt, today we're talking about gaming guilty pleasures. There's lots of guilty pleasures in life. Maybe you're the 3 a.m.er who walks down to the freezer and eats a carton of ice cream. Maybe right before bedtime you get that craving for a gigantic bowl of honey bunches of oats. Guilty. Anyway, today we're talking about gaming guilty pleasures. What is it about gaming that is your guilty pleasure? Is it a game? Is it a genre? Is it a certain type of collecting? I'm gonna have the Retro Refresh crew help me out, so let's get into it. All right, like I said, gaming guilty pleasures. And you wanna hear me ramble on for 10 minutes about mine, so I invited a few friends from the Retro Refresh crew to get us started. And we're gonna have Tom and Lacey start it off with their gaming guilty pleasure. What's up, nerdlings? Tom and Lady Lacey of Do You Nerd here. Hey, Chris, thanks so much for inviting us along to talk about our gaming guilty pleasures. Although, you're kind of trolling us because that's not really something that we think about, so no. we really struggled to come up with something here. But uh, I think that you did finally settle on something, I so did. please. And I would not say that it is guilty at all, but I like to do mobile games. I like to play mobile games on my iPad, just basically time wasters. I like the farming games where you plant little thingies and then you grow them and you sell them and they're basically time waster games. And a lot of people don't consider you a gamer if you play those, but hey, I say any game you're playing means you're a gamer. I like to play those because sometimes I've only got about five minutes here or there to, you know, pick up something and waste my time. I like mobile games. Hey, nothing wrong with that. I mean, she made a good point. If you have like five minutes or something, let's face it, especially if you're trying to play a modern console, forget that noise. That's true. I'm sure your controller has to update <laughs> first. Oh, what a bleak, horrible future we live in. As for me, my gaming guilty pleasure is collecting. Unfortunately, time is not on my side and I am much more of a collector than a gamer these days. I'm not happy about that, but that's the sad truth. The other thing is when I collect, I just collect video games. I don't collect just for the NES. I don't collect just Nintendo or just Sega stuff. If it's a video game, man, I'm grabbing it if I have the money. And that can kind of be a problem because while it makes for a pretty cool collection, I definitely don't have the time to put into any of these games. So my gaming guilty pleasure isn't even about gaming. It's just collecting those games. <laughs> so thanks again, Chris, for having us. And you keep on rolling and trolling. Bye, nerdlings. So, what is my guilty pleasure in gaming? Well, I know many would think they'd be visual novels because they can be slightly pervy. No, I don't feel guilty about that. Get your porn wherever you want it, who cares? Is it the amount of money I spend on games? No, because compared to Retro Gamer Boy, I spend pennies. Is it the fact that I am very, 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 very bad with the fact that most games I collect are shit ones for stupid YouTube videos? No, I'll sell them one day. Maybe. Probably not. I'm lazy. Fuck you. So what is my guilty pleasure? Controllers! That's right. It may not sound like much, but yeah, I have a bit of a problem with controllers. I feel like if you're going to play a game, you need to play it properly. You need a controller that's responsive, feels good. One that you're not constantly aware of when you're playing. You don't want to go thinking, this button shit or this thing feels stupid. You just want to be able to enjoy the game. And that means having a really good controller. This fucking thing is filled with controllers. Some are a bit expensive, some not so much. In fact, sometimes I actually find a cheaper controller is more comfortable. Like my PS4 one, for example. I don't use the standard one. No, I use this thing. It's wired, so it's a hell of a lot cheaper. The buttons feel just as responsive. It's very comfortable to hold. And it's got more of a matte finish rather than a gloss one, so it doesn't feel like a slippery controller. Why do I prefer this to the original PS4 one? Because the original PS4 one has a really shit battery life, and I can't stand it. But hell, that's not all. I've also bought controllers for the dumbest reasons. I mean, look at this. 
this fucking thing. This controller is designed for one bloody game. Pokémon Tournament on the Wii U. Which I was really interested in. You know, a fighting game with Pokémon and a really cool controller just for that. Yeah, it's a shame that the game is SHIT! At least the controller looks nice. Shame that it can only be used for one fucking thing. I can't even begin to tell you how many different controllers for the Nintendo Switch I happen to own. I mean, look at this one. It's a Pokemon controller. But unlike the other one, I can use this for more than one piggin' game. It's quite nice as well. Pikachu, Eevee. A real nice use of colours. I quite like it. And yes, I do like the pink D-pad. Which, as you play, doesn't feel that bad. Not the best D-pad in the world, but not bad for a cheap controller. Why is it cheap? Well, for one thing, wired again. I can't tell you how many fucking Master System controllers I have. I mean, I got a Japanese one for the Mark III. Just look at this thing. What the hell's going on with this? I've even got this one, the Competition Pro, which has a proper D-pad, unlike the original Master System one, and has turbo buttons for the gamer who likes to cheat, i.e. me. And of course, you've got to have your arcade sticks. This is an arcade stick you want. This is an arcade stick you don't want. Honestly, I own way too many controllers and have spent far too much money on controllers. Yeah, you'd think for someone that spends so much money on controllers, I would have more control over my own life and my own savings. Ha! <laughs> savings. Like I fucking have any savings. <laughs> I need more money for controllers. Subscribe to Tennis Bash Gaming. Mm. Guilty pleasure gaming. Those games that you don't want anybody to know that you enjoy. The games you wait to play until everybody's out the house. Or the games that you play in your handheld but try to keep sneaky hidden from everybody on the public transport or wherever you are. I've been trying to think what my guilty pleasure games are. And to be honest, there's a few that I thought of that I could have picked from. I always have kind of thought of golf games as a bit of a guilty pleasure game. Because they're kind of a sports title and in the world of gaming or retro gaming in general anyway. Way, sports titles get a bit of a bad rap. There are quite a few sports titles that I do really like, like F1 racing games, I really enjoy them, but I wouldn't really put them under the banner of guilty pleasure games because they are so popular, especially in like the current gen anyway. But I think I nailed it down and I think I figured out what it is. And my guilty pleasure games are Disney games. Now I'm not talking like Aladdin and Lion King in the 16-bit generation which get loads of praise and everybody knows how amazing they are. I'm on about the more modern ones. Games like Wall-E, games like Ratatouille, games like Cars. I just absolutely love Disney games. There's something about them. I think it all goes back to the time when I first played Toy Story 2 on the PlayStation 1. It was at the time when I had a chipped PlayStation like everybody did. Maybe that's another guilty thing, I don't know. But <laughs> my uncle got me two games. He got me Toy Story 2 and he got me Resident Evil 3. Now I was absolutely psyched for Resident Evil 3. I'd wanted that game for so long and I absolutely loved it. But Toy Story 2 took my attention first. I played through that game first and completed it entirely before I even really got into Resident Evil 3. And I just absolutely loved playing as Buzz Lightyear, jumping around all the environments, the whole collectathon vibe. It was just so magical and amazing to me at the time. And I don't know if it's just the whole fun vibe that gets me into the games these days, or if it's the nostalgia of Toy Story 2. But ever since then, I've just loved Disney games. Toy Story 3 is one of my favorite video games on the PlayStation 3, and I've talked about how we need a Toy Story 4 video game as well. But on top of that, games like Ratatouille, games like Wall-E, and even games like Cars, there's just so much fun in them. And I guess Disney just has this quality. It oozes this quality, and it gives you this feel-good vibe that you just can't get anywhere else. And when you pair that with a video game, even if the quality of it isn't that great, there's just something about it that pulls me into it. Collecting all the items, playing as your favorite characters, exploring these worlds that we've watched in the movies, there's just something amazing about it. And that's why Disney games, even the modern crappy ones, are my guilty pleasure. All right, so we got some controllers that are a problem. We got the gaming in general, just collecting games for Tom. We got Lacey with her mobile game, Stav Loves Disney. 
cool guilty pleasures. Now it's time to move on to mine. Well, it's easy. It's wrestling games. The genre of wrestling games. From the time I played on my NES, I had a WWF game. All the way until now, I just picked up WWE 2K22. And this genre has always been something that kind of is a bridge for me in between bigger games. I beat Elden Ring recently, and I wanted to play something else, but I wasn't ready to dive into the next big adventure. So I picked up WWE 2K22 as like a bridge to my next game. Kind of give me a chance to cool down, relax, and just chill. But I'm not going to play for months, I'm going to move into the next game. And as you can see, this is just a small portion of my wrestling game collection. Throughout time, I've always had wrestling games, and this is just a small collection of them. As you can see, I even had the Brawl Stick for WWE Superstars, which is an underrated wrestling game if you have not played it, one of the best made. But for me, I got PS4, PS3, Xbox. I've even got the old Game Boy version, which is absolute trash as you can see here, but at the time when I played it, it was cool. As a kid in the 90s, playing wrestling on the go wasn't the worst thing in the world. Not a huge fan of the product itself these days, but the games themselves still keep me coming back. I even have them on the arcade. I mean, take a look at WWF WrestleFest, one of my favorite games to play on my main cabinet. I have friends come over, we do tag team matches, it's fun. Saturday Night Slam Masters, another classic arcade game that I think was actually ported to the SNES as well. I mean, there's tons of wrestling games, but they've always been a go-to game for me. Sometimes I would play them longer, especially the WWF games on the Nintendo 64 and the WCW Revenge game. Those games are incredible and still probably the best wrestling games ever made. Nowadays, like I said, it's a very small part of my gaming, but it is a chance for me to put that bridge between bigger RPGs or bigger action games and just give me a little bit of a cool down period. And then I go into the next big adventure. And every couple years, I gotta buy the newest version to see what happens. I don't get lost in it like I used to, but it's fun to mess around for a few hours, a few days, a few weeks, and then move on to the next thing. So for me, wrestling games are my guilty pleasure in gaming. All right, there you got it. You heard mine, you heard the Retro Refresh crew. Now I wanna hear in the comments, right there what your guilty pleasures in gaming are. Is it collecting? Is it a genre? Is it a developer? Is it a peripheral? Is it a system? I wanna know what kind of your go-to guilty pleasure is that you just can't get enough of. As always guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully, I'm not gonna wait six more months for the next video. I've already got a couple things planned. So if you have any ideas, let me know. Keep trolling, keep rolling. We'll see you next time.